Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday, I believe it is. I don't even know the date today, but it's not such a great day out today. But if you choose to look at things uh, positively, the glass half full, it's not, uh, there's no hurricanes, no lightning. It's not super hot. It's just cloudy and a little rainy today. And I got something in my eye too. Anyway, when I say I hope you guys are well, I, ho I actually sincerely hope that you guys are well. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, sort of de depression and anxiety. And this is something I, I talk about periodically. There's a plane. Boss, the plane. The plane, boss. Sometimes I get distracted really easily. But anyway, I wanted to mention that this is a straight to YouTube vlog from my phone, so there's no editing in here. So if I, if there's any mess ups in here, it's because I'm just uploading it straight out of my phone. So anyway, I had kind of a rough weekend this weekend where I had a lot of things going on in my head, a lot of anxiety, wasn't sleeping well, had to take some medication because it just wasn't feeling good in any, in any sense of the word. I just had some life drama going on that I care not to really talk about um, specifically, but just suffice to say that it was just a kind of a bad weekend. And it reminds me, now that I'm feeling better today, of how bad it is to have depression, anxiety, and all these life things, That how bad that can be. Because this weekend, like I said, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad week. First time, first time in a long time I've felt that bad. To give you an idea, it was, it was kind of like f actually physically feeling bad from being having so much anxiety, actually feeling sick, like sick to your stomach, no energy, like feeling like like your uh, body is sore, almost like you have like the flu, like that sick from the amount of anxiety. And I don't know if anybody actually knows. I think it's just chemically related. You know, it's sort of mentally and chemical, chemically related where you just feel sick. So anyway, to get past that part, um, the thing I think is important to do when you do feel like anxiety is talk about it. And I think our brain is programmed, or my brain anyway, is programmed to do the opposite and just clam up and shut down. And I think that's kind of the wrong thing is is the opposite look at this pretty view of the bay even though it's cloudy out it's still pretty a pretty view of sarasota bay out here there's a bunch of clangy noises can you hear that i don't know if the wind's keeping you from hearing that i think it's the um these sailboat masts and the ropes are hitting against them it sounds like little wind chimes Kind of hear that. Anyway, I told myself I wasn't going to go. I wasn't going to come over here because of the wind, but now here I am. Because the wind always messes up the video. Anyway, let's let's try to shorten this a little bit. Anyway, so I think the best thing after experiencing that is to talk about when you have anxiety. It's all trapped in your head. It's like a bubble that your thoughts can't get out of. It just bangs on the sides and keeps going around in a circle, around in a circle. Excuse me. And then you can't get rid of those thoughts. That's the way I felt this weekend was same thoughts rattling around inside my brain pan. And if you have a friend or a love, you know, uh, your mates or your girlfriend or your wife or whatever, or your boyfriend, you got to talk about these things, even though, like I said, your natural, the natural thing is to curl up in a ball and just clam up as hard as it is it helps to be able to talk about those things and for the bigger picture if you're having long-term anxiety like weeks and weeks and months of anxiety and depression and you just don't know what's wrong um, you've got to get some counseling because counseling allows you to take those thoughts that are bouncing around in your head and have an outlet and I was hearing some guys talk on the radio making a lot of sense on a radio show they were talking about it provides you an outlet to just throw out your thoughts because you're talking to a stranger but in the same fact 
you feel like you're not being judged normally if you have a good counselor or somebody to talk to like a professional person it allows you to talk without repercussions now if you tell a friend you may feel like you're being judged or you know if you tell your girlfriend or whatever person that you're they you know especially if it's a new girlfriend they may think you're completely crazy because you're venting your innermost thoughts and your issues that are going around in your head so that's the kind of what I was thinking about this morning is like sort of coming off of this bad anxiety you know part of the reason I do these videos is to just try to help and put some good into the world so I hope you know I've done a, a lot of these videos I I think I have a playlist on this channel actually that's called uh, life lessons where I have some videos like this that are kind of like sort of self-help or motivational or whatever you want to call it but you know if I tried to do this vlog this weekend while I was in the middle of this anxiety it would have been a train wreck so check out these glasses I lost my other glasses now I'm using these goofy glasses because I don't have any other glasses I have to go buy some I hate that so please forgive my glasses Actually, maybe I'll just keep them off. These are those free glasses they give away. Anyway, so it's just to uh, go back a little bit and talk about uh, my, some of my first um, experiences with counseling. Back in 2000, I was going through some really hard times in life and I started having some panic attacks. And I remember the first time I had like a really severe panic attack. I hey, go look at that, a coconut. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm getting off track. You rarely ever see the coconuts on the ground for some reason. It's like you'll see the coconuts in the tree and then they'll just disappear. And you'll rarely ever see this green coconut. That's why I'm documenting it. Green coconut from the tree. I think the like the people who do the lawn pick them up so quick that you can't even uh, get in there. Anyway, sorry, sorry. I said this was unedited, so I would normally edit that kind of stuff out. So 2000, I was going through some life issues. I was driving along one night, coming home from work, and I remember this like explosion of thoughts and worries and stuff that like felt like a, a daydream that took over my whole brain while I was trying to drive, and it freaked me out. I was experiencing a lot of stress from work and from a girl that I was dating or had broken up with and stuff, and I think there was just a combination of forces that were causing me a lot of distress and it hit me all at once. Huh. There's a call coming in. That's weird, right in the middle of a, uh, of a live vlog. Live whatever, whatever you want. Anyway, so anyway, I was having those panic attacks and I would literally be working and I'd have these like interruptions where these thoughts would get so overwhelming that I couldn't concentrate. I felt like I was having a dream in the middle of the daytime while I was awake. It was like so overwhelming. So anyway, I, saw, I sought out some counseling and it did help. It took a little while. Like I said, it's, it's very freeing an experience to go to a total stranger and talk about. Once you get over the fact that there's this stigma behind it, like you feel like somebody's going to judge you as a crazy person that you're going to get professional help because if you go to a psychiatrist you must be crazy right and that's the stigma that kind of is crappy today it's a lot better now 17 years later from 2000 to now i think people are opening up about it you know celebrities and famous people are talking about that kind of stuff anyway i just encourage you guys if you feel like you're really down and struggling do not be afraid to go to somebody for fear of judgment now it may be different if you're at work and you choose to disclose, I, I guess that could be detrimental to your reputation at work and I completely understand that, but like I said, I would not hesitate to go back to a counselor, which I've done many times since the last 20 years, if I felt that I was having some permanent disability, like this weekend was like a rough weekend, but feeling better now. Anyway, I just want to encourage you guys to not be ashamed of your issues you know because everybody has them really everybody goes through periods where you struggle i think as you get older it gets tougher anyway just wanted to wanted to share with you guys that while well, i was sort of feeling feeling it pretty heavy and uh hope you guys are doing well and remember life's not always a straight line it's always a kind of an up and down so if, you, if you're kind of at the bottom hopefully it'll only be 
momentary and you'll be coming up and I sincerely hope you guys are doing well and hope you guys have a great holiday if I don't talk to you I guess I'm talking about Halloween I was, th I was thinking about Thanksgiving but that's in November anyway have a great day and have a great week guys I hope you guys are uh, doing well we'll see you later